Hello everyone. And here we are, a quick look round of just spawned. So welcome to my beginner guide. And I'm just gonna press W to walk forward. I think I know that. Oh okay, well, that must be a very good one. So we need to make stuff. Let's get started. There's a stone. We're gonna need that. I need a bit of wood. So it's handy we're so close to this. So first of all we have to craft the bedrock. And we need ten. Now that was that plant that I just hit. That's actually wood. That's so fierce handy. And it's very handy that we spawn here right by the end of the the uh, fire biome where all the trees are burned out. Yes. It's easy to see. Stones. So we don't want to move too far from the original spawning area. We need two stones. Okay, so first of all, we've got to craft a bed. Let me just hit that. Five of us, ten. Not eighteen out of ten. Yeah, by the craft and we'll move that. That's the land claim block, which we don't actually need just yet. That. So a little note from the Duke. There's our food. There's I tend to move everything I like to keep everything in the everything that's relevant in the same place. So I put med supplies and food all around this area and I put the crafting supplies which we're about to use anyway into the left at the top and then anything I want to maybe trans transmit into my belt, my tool belt which is where I'm moving stuff from and I didn't put it there so there we go put that there and what we're going to do there is Craft a bandit, oh, it was okay. We'll craft two bandits. Well, I could have made a band out of it anyway. So we've made a bedrock. I'm just going to place the bedrock so we can just chuck it there. I'll be right back in. And then I'll pick it back up again. We'll take that out. Don't actually need the bedroll yet, so I'm just gonna put it down. Now I've craft a stone axe, we have enough. Two small stone, two plant fibers, two wood, so we can craft one and that really helps us out. And now we need to make clothing, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit tab but I'm gonna get out of it. And now I've got my stone axe, I can start using it. So it's best when you first start not to move too far from your from your original start location, you know. Because you don't really have to fight zombies to begin with. You can if you go into a building, there will be some there. But the building will spawn there too. There's a water tower. Now we need to craft some clothes. So I'm just going to... Make plenty of stuff. So don't worry about taking too much or missing, you get clay, if you, all you have to do is hit the ground and you'll get clay and we will be definitely needing clay and rock, for sure. Well, let's go into our craft of plant fibre pants, craft them, craft plant fibre shirt, craft that as well, and put them on, where, as soon as we get that, we'll put that on as well. 
and the wooden club. We've got lots of wood, but just lots of three down, so all we need is five wood for that. There's our club. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, we've got to find a bird's nest. We need feathers, we've got to make a bow and a, a primitive bow and a. I'm going to take that still. A primitive bow and some arrows, so we need a bird's nest to find feathers. And here's a quick tip these wooden stumps. They often contain honey. I didn't get any of that honey, which is a pity. What can you do? So, this is a cold. The cold is using a lot of things, it's also a set level straight away. So, we'll definitely get some of that. Right. So there's more than it, keep on getting it. But don't worry about your, your axe wearing down. It does wear down pretty quick, it's only a level one. On my stone. But that's alright because while you're getting coal, you're also getting these stones. If you find a big stone, you can just, a big, you know, like a boulder, you can just hit it. There's the bird's nest, that's what we want. We get into that, get E to get in. Got ten birds' nests, oh, ten birds' feathers. Even break that up and get a few more. Got fourteen. A bit of clay as well. So primitive bow, wooden plant fibers. We easily have that. And then the foot. stone arrow. And hit that to the right there and craft it. You can press W to craft as well. All right, I'm going to make a wood frame block. Then we've got to upgrade it. So we'll craft one. Just gonna wait for all these arrows now. As you know, that's what it's gonna We'll bring that primitive bow down. If anybody's ever watched my earlier videos, you'll know I'm not the greatest archer in the world. Recipes. Um, that is cross fragment. Make two cross fragments. It takes two cross cloth fragments to make a bandage. Now we've got our two cross fragments. Very severe. Bandage. We'll bring that bandage just down to there. I don't like using that med bandage. I prefer to just use the normal ones if I have to, if so I don't want to need to use it. We'll bring the wood frame block into here. Now we've got to put one down, so I'm going to put under over so you to see. So any of these in the tool belt, you can roll your mouse wheel and it'll move you back as far as you can see happening. Or you can just hit the number. So I've got the wood frame block in position 5, so I'll just tap 5, put it down there, just right click. And now it wants us to upgrade the wood block, so when you press 2 and then right click on it. There we go. Take a look down here because what is precious. Right, so build a campfire, we need 10 stone. So, I might as well just keep chopping into the road a bit. And dig a hole in the road. Plenty of rocks. Right, I've run out of stamina, which you do quite quickly. We've got 28 rock. So I think it was a five for a campfire, yeah. So we'll craft one campfire. Let's take too long. Put that in position six. Across the campfire. No, we just have to put it down on the ground, so I'll hit six. I'm not sure where we can put it down. Oh no. It's fine, isn't it? There we go. Job done. Now we've got to find the trader. So let's have a look at the direction the trader's at. The trader's over there. It's the exact same trader as well. This is so close to where I've got my basin on the main game. 
Anyway, there we go. We're going to go through all this. Just quickly take this. Um, very good. Aloe vera cream. We need that. I'll just show you. For abrasion healing. And it's a salmon. So if you press R, it'll take everything. We'll just check all this stuff around us. Okay, these painkillers is when you get concussion, cure concussion. So we'll take them all, and uh, the lead we can sell for now, we can make ammunition with it. Well, it's a nurse dire as well, that's straight ahead. So, we're going to go across the land to get to the trader. Now, it does pay to go pretty quickly to the trader, but it also pays to take what you can get while you're around. So I'm going to use this axe, and it's going to run out. It's going to make a ping and so on. It's going to tell me nope. Needs repairs. Oh, no, maybe it isn't. So I'll just carry, I'll dig up a few more bits of rock just to show you. See that? Right, so I click on it, it comes up and press repair. Any stone tools you can just repair with stone. The, the wood, you repair it with wood. The Bowie repair with wood. It's easy enough. I'm going to put that in as meds. That in as meds. That in as resources. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that I might want to use it. I mean, actually, I may as well just put it on my tool. But I'm going to use it now so it's daytime. And then next to meds goes through. Now it's up to yourself how you want to arrange it. I'll well put better on in there. I will be putting it down later, and I like to bring ammo along here. This is just for convenience. It's a little bit easier. Now that we're going to sell, that we can't really use. It's sort of mess. It's golden rod tea. You can make, but you need to get a recipe for it. There's coal. We've got a bunch of it. We end up selling that, and in goes stone to there. I normally keep my dukes there, which is the coins. The game coins. So, I've got to go over to that way, is it? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a beeline for that bigger rock over there. <coughs> Big old rock, and I can see that there's a building there. And I have been spawned a bit nearer. Oh, I said I forget these feathers. I'm going to need money to get them now. It's pretty much terrible archery skills. So you can just leave it like that, but what I do is just mash it. And what harm if we get a bit of extra clay? Clay is easy to get, you just dig into the ground. Speaking of which, I'm going to make a shovel. And we've got an egg or two. So let's just quickly the 26 and 28. We need two more stones. So let's just charge over to this rock. Now, the fire biome is ugly because obviously all the trees are mashed and are wrecked. But it's easy to see what's on the ground. Same in the snow biome, you can freeze out that. Now, for the first, first step, uh, up to level 6, it's not. I don't understand Let's just base that to this, this nest. Now just as uh, we run into a couple of Zombros on the way, more, even more. And let's just see how much rock we've got. We've got 42 feathers, hit recipes, stone arrow, press that to max it out. We're making another 42. I was there, I'll put those in the food. No, you can eat them straight before and earlier alphas would got a chance of giving you dysentery, but now you can just eat them. So what I'm gonna oh there's a chicken. I should hunt it, but um yeah. Sorry I'll have to start going up and hunt it. Okay. 
make a more, more eight and really need to make as many as possible. Because the archery is actually not that easy. Not that it's that difficult either, but accuracy is pretty bad. It chucks all over the place I've got stone. And this is the advantage of going through the fire biome. Staying right on the edge of it. Sometimes you get overheated. Chuck's not even bothered by us. And we may as well lop her down a couple of trees while we're at it for full stamina. I'll cover hunting in a later episode after I've got a crossbow. Checking out the hissing. So if you're used to gaming on a, like on a console or in my case on a computer with a controller, then you find that the keyboard and mouse does take to get a bit of getting used to. So I'm fairly new to this game, but I've, I would say I'm a total beginner, I'm like an initiate or something. You know? I've been playing it a few months, but this is the type of game. You gotta play it for six, eight months or something before you anyway is competent, that's what I reckon. I've been through it all, I've been through the Mendes, I've been wiped out with bears. I wiped out by bears, I've tried to take on way more than I can do, get slaughtered. I've also already recorded this series for hours and but didn't record sounds, so I had to start game. And I'll make every mistake in the game, because I've done it now. So I figured I'd make a beginner guide. And so I can definitely not teach the experts, but I can teach the top of the hoops. No stamina, but okay. You only, to move, you only need stamina to run. To walk doesn't cost any. Oh, we've got some serious lag in there. Yeah, it's been a bit laggy this open. Uh, it's not as bad as it was. I don't think it's my machine because my machine stats are more than they, they claim they need. It's more than uh, smash than this. Now I have messed with the settings so loot respawns every five days. That also means that POIs are not cleared. That you clear them and five days later they're not cleared so you get the zombies back again. Now that's good for me because I like fighting them. Have we not got a bridge nearby? There's one over there. But you know, I could be bad. It's nice and early. You can't swim. Before it used to be a great way to avoid the zombras. You just dive into the water and they wouldn't fall in. Same with animals. But they changed that on this offer so they can have the zombies can swim. And so can bears, wolves, zombie dogs. Pretty much anything that wants to kill you is good at swimming. So that rock behind us, we just do this trash pile. And there's nothing in it. And the rose is as well. There's a zombie. Oh, we got some dukes. Yes, right. this, this is somebody coming at us. There is it. Looks like one of our first fight. There, yeah, oh, it's just one of those. The business dude. He's not ready either. So just focus where the X is. Here comes those double hand. And they'll go down once and get back up. There we go. And we're going back to two, back to this. Now that's metal, that's an iron ore. So we're just going to grab ourselves as much iron ore as we can get. We'll get a bit of stone as well. We do need a, a good bit of metal to begin with because we can upgrade doors and wooden hatches and things. We've also got some pine seeds on the ground in there. And we want to repair this axe. Since it's going to need it, and there's very really close still anyway. That's that. We're all below. So I'm going to do. Just keep 
lock them into it and I'll leave a hole. Okay, a seven point three. Now they tend to grow overnight. Does that mean? Okay, no more better. No, yeah, I'm just going to do that. There's only one more. Make sure we finish mushing up this. Because there's a nice hole there. I'll be able to find it again. And I always loot on the way. Some people are saying you should just leg it to the trader and they might be right it's not letting me in to do this it's not actually working though is it is the game crash i oh, don't know it didn't crash it just stalled just brass that can be scrapped it's worth money you use it for bullet cases so later on which you can actually get a brush together and whatnot some nails and then take them you can scrap those down, but they're also used like if you want to construct a like a bed, you need nails and sort of things to have a craft. But they can be scrapped down to metal. We always want more stone. So what I tend to do is collect stone on my way and then wherever I'm deciding to build a base I can just go digging. Speaking of which there's my stone. There we go. Recipes, stone shovel, craft. Okay, now look how long it takes a long time for these ones to go down there. You know, we'll have a stone shovel. And that's the log weight, yeah. Stamina to come back. So I tend to take my time getting to trade. Look, we've only got 200 meters to go. We could run that. Oh, we can't now. Burning up all our stamina. But it's better off to collect resources and not bother too much about picking up stones when you see big rocks. Better off chopping into the rocks. Even though that'll wear down oh, that'll wear down the stone axe. Look how much stone I can keep getting just from hitting these rocks. So a good full size of cobblestone will take 15 minutes for 999. But we won't be needing that much to begin with. More. There's So, uh, and then we've got 10 eggs. So that's enough to keep us overnight. Yeah, get in, but the gathering stone it's always best to do that like I say it's easy once you've got your shovel it's easy to get clay because you can just dig wherever you want very much so clay I suppose is the most abundant resource but combining the two is what gives you cobblestone rock which you can make from the first stage I just wanted to show you that that's what I can get points on I actually do have four skills to put on but I'm not using them just to show that you know okay we knew we only just started but we're well able for it now we'll get this oh this now before I do it yeah she's coming you can eat these as well so may as well take them Switch over to a, a club. Now, a lot of people prefer spears. I prefer the club. I just find this a bit more. It's a bit easier for me. Oh, she gave me a slap with my first hit. Yes, We'll have a 
coal is one of the ingredients used to make wheels which you'll need for the bicycle but for you need for all the weapons so you need that but you, you can't really make any any wheels until you've got acid and acid's pretty hard to get it can be made but you've got to get it you're smithing them from just gonna lob a tree down. Well that's me throwing a power punch when I didn't need to. I'm just quickly going to tap and repair my stone axe. There we go. There we go. So standing around looking for those small rocks is not worth it. Only do it for the first two, then just go and attack a big rock. So we're nearly here to the traders. The rock right in front of us is very strong. Let's see if we get out. And what we'll do. Let's see if we can get out. What we do is head on into the trader. Press each of the door. Don't have to bother worrying about it being locked. No, nope. I'm not going to go into that vending machine because I haven't got any. I've only got six coins, so it's not worth it. Do check around like the trash that I'm going past on that forge in there. You can take stuff from the trash. You can't mine anything, but you can take trash. You got the dukes. I'll make the time. You got the dukes. I'll make the time. I'm gonna sell all that coal. Forty bucks. I'm gonna sell the lead. All of it. No? Do you want to? Oh, I've only got 17. 20. 28. Okay. I mean, it's a start. I don't, I'm not gonna sell anything else. As if she would buy anything else, I'm just gonna move that down to there. And uh, that's where we're going. Let's just see what she's got. There's not really anything that we can. First day bandage for, for 30 bucks. It's worth getting. It's definitely worth getting. But we'll check food. Food cooking. Raw meat 85.40 each. We've got just about enough food there. And that one berry. But the 10 eggs and the two salads, that's that's enough to keep us going, so we don't need that. 20 for a blueberry, 20 each. And let's have a look at weapons. No gun, there's an iron spear, which isn't bad. And then we've got the secret stash, weighted head mod. That's definitely worth having. Shotgun parts. Oh, there's an AK. Oh, and a mini bug. I'm sure 12,000 mini mini bug. 400 for an AK. You got no ammo. And I don't know when there. Remember me if you need medical supplies. Remember me if you need medical supplies. So fetch and buried supplies. Um, I hate buried supplies. We always need someone to handle the tough jobs. Do hurry. I have a protection payment coming up soon. Right. So, because she didn't have any clear the areas, I'm not going to shut her door. So, we've got kind of past us 60. How much we got? Can. Cheapest we got is green alcohol, which we can't use anyway. We've got one kind of chili. Two golden rod teas that's up to 96. I'm going to buy one. Because it cures distance. It's a good idea to get that. So before we go out, we'll just have a quick run around the traders. See what we can get us here. You know? Oh, it works. Usually it's trashed. Okay. So we've got a work and forge in the traders. I know for a fact that there's a workbench. I don't know for a fact that it work. Two glue. Very useful. I make duct tape, which is sacrosanct. In this game. 
take and make time over that you can make repair kits with it. Oh, okay. Take it all. Check the trash. Oh. Now we can go and sell them. We'll just check this cam station. There is one more trash on the back, but one of the others is going to be something really valuable. Ah. But I may as well have them while they're there. It's just something you can get for free. So. Now that bin banging pinion better like so. It's the zombies attacking the wall. They won't come in, they can't get in. So we can use the workbench, okay? No more glue, that's great. I'm gonna go and sell it this brass. So later on in the game you wanna keep the brass to make bullet casings. Because it's easier to make ammo than to find it. But for now, I may as well sell it. Meds, it. drugs, booze. I've got it all. Nice. What else we got? Sell that. Red shield. Yeah, normally I wouldn't, but I'm just gonna buy that red and I'll sell this. I just knew you'd find something you'd like. Strange that because I didn't buy it. Alright, let's slide it around the back of here. So we've got a working workbench, a working forge. You can see the Zombros coming through the wall a bit there, but they can't get in. Trouble is, we can't stay here. That's for wood. There's the oil, we need that, and gunpowder. So we've got rocks, haven't we? Let's just click on the gunpowder. Recipes. Blend of a salmon. Oh, we need paper. So we could read that. Pay on time, scrap it. And we need like two gunpowder for one. Musket ammo. We don't have a musket, but if we get one of them, most likely it'll be the first gun we get. Odds are, once we get enough money to get this thing. So that's about all you have to do to begin with. I'm gonna shut the door this time. So country origins yeah. Roar filling myself you know, I could avoid these Zambras but I like fighting them and I tend to build my first base right near somewhere pretty close to the trade of it, not too close you know. so this looks like a nice pretty scenic area so I think I've got on there I like it here. So I'm going to start here. First thing I'm going to do is get into there. We've got plenty of wood now. Wood frame block. Craft. 50. What have I got there? Then? Just take them onto there. Seven. So what I tend to do is make it five by five the first base and then I expand it. So as you can see they're sinking into the ground a bit. So basically what we're doing really is leveling them off, leveling them off the ground. But this is just a foundation. Five by five. It's not very big, in fact it's very small. But it's big enough to put a bedroll and a chest down. I like to have my campfire outside the door. There's that. Five by four. So 
obviously 5x5 five five is to uh, get round to it. We're in sight of the trade out, it means we'll hear the, the warning at night and in the morning. At night time, since the trade door will be closing soon, and then the trade door is now closed. And split second after that, it'll be night time, and all the zombies can sprint if you have the fault settings anyway. Pharaohs can sprint. Oh, this is an ideal location really because it's scenic, it's easy to sort out. If you're very close to the trader, you'll get attacked a bit more. If you're too close, because uh, they tend to hang around. And they go for sources of heat. So once you've got the law built, and right click it. Floor. Now remember, I am putting on the outside level, it's going to be the wall, so we'll only have the middle ones to get, to actually get on. And as you can see, oh, while I'm at it, as soon as about to level up, so if we click on this, points available for, so the first thing I always do is healing factor, always, that's metabolism, here quicker. Now, fortitude, I can't get into it higher up on quick. Fortitude level 3. I want to put strength minus 69 on. Till nip. Sexual Tyrannosaurus, bench one. Pummel P. Earth neck. That'd be 4 points gone. No. I can craft better tools. Normally I would have done that earlier, but I just want to do show it. Every time that you fight, you dig, even even when you're like just gathering grass or whatever, it all gives you XP. And this one, if you have a look down at the tool belt, or the, uh, the eight squares at the bottom of the screen, representative of the tool belt, that purple line at the top of it, it's going up and up every time I upgrade one of these wood blocks okay, so these ones that I haven't done, the ones in the middle that will be the floor, it's only 3x3 three three. that will be the inside of the base like Oh, I'll be a little long because I'll be a door. And one of them, I'll have the door directly pointing at the trader. Comes. Right, so I'll stop recording here because we're pushing 40 minutes. It's pretty obvious what I'm going to do. Actually, no, I won't. I'll make it so that you can see me put the better all down and then I'll, do. I'll quit. And I'll carry on recording after for the second part and we'll go and do that. The type of mission I don't like. Just get the supplies, find the buried supplies. You've got to dig for ages. 
and as soon as you've got it open as you get surrounded by a bunch of zombies I'd much sooner do clear the area because you're going to a POI or point of interest and like a building basically a trash building and you can get loot I'd much prefer it okay so we go seven Space there for the door. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh. So these wood frame blocks upgraded to level two. Also, the way the floor is now, that's enough to keep them up. So, for the first night of the day. Okay, now what I'm going to do is make a door. So we'll click on the wood, recipes, secure wood door, craft. Just there is just craft. So we've got a door which will open for the blocks for now. And make sure you want that bit. So by right clicking, no, left clicking, you can move it around and then right click and it goes in. There's our the beginnings of our base is obviously not any protection for now, but once we've got those upgraded, that will do. I'll put them down to eight. So you can see there's plenty enough space. I'm going to have it there. Tap into that. Get the chest right in there. And yeah, I'll put it there. Now I can open that and put in things I'm not going to use just yet. It's just the glue, shale, cement, which is very handy. Iron, plus lead, so I'm going to sell that lead. Because that's the one I have likely to use then, or will in the end. Land claim block now. Unfortunately, we can't. This building is too small to put a land claim block down, but they only cost 10. Those are definitely even in the plenty more of them. Okay. And that's the beginning of the base. Obviously, I'm going to level up the balls to this height and upgrade them all. So I'll do that in the next episode. Thanks for watching.